Okay, everybody, we are now moving on to do, you know, you know how I like to do those readings where I read the transcript of people? So what I'm going to read now is a Howard Stern excerpt from when Kamala Harris was on his show. Asking Kamala Harris if she feels safe if Trump wins. Let me ask you this. If he wins, God forbid, would you feel safe in this country? Would you stay in this country? Well, if she wins, I'm trying, I'm tr actually, I've already started thinking about how I'm going to get out of here. Because that's how unsafe the country already is. And it's really scary to think that Kamala Harris could potentially be the person that is making decisions about nuclear weapons. So I'm not on, actually I'm not on script right now. I was di digressing. Now let's keep going. Howard, I'm doing everything I can to make sure he doesn't win. I'm doing everything I can to make sure he does not win. Basics living it up on the view. Let's um, come up. Wins, God forbid. Would you feel safe in this country? Would you stay in this country? Howard, I'm doing everything I can to make sure he does not win. Howard, I'm doing everything I can to make sure he does not win. Let's, um, Kamala, and I'm calling you Kamala, because for all of those who are mispronouncing it, I want you all to know how to say it. I like candidates who show up for interviews. Just say it. Would you like to have a beer with me so I can tell people what that's like? I might have beer. I might have beer. Oh, that was a baseball game with Doug. That's not... That's not a presidential candidate. That's mental illness. Like 1999, I mean, no, like, obviously, like 1999, I thought was spectacular. You can go back to his early days, yeah. Um, but like him on the guitar, there was just nothing like it and so many people i mean even you look at bruno mars today right look who just has been influenced by prince you know the night he passed doug and i were in la and actually just like he and i have different tastes my husband and i depeche mode He's just, yeah, that's him. I grew up kind of hip hop. And but Prince is the one where we both love and we just played Prince all night long. We danced, we sang his songs. It was at our little tribute. And I never met him. Tell me though, I really want to hear it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He comes out and he um, announces to the crowd, turn off all the lights, and he's playing in the dark for the entire time. I laugh. I... This actually sounds like an Adam Levine story. I feel like this is an Adam Levine story. I kind of swore Adam Levine said the same story when he was on the show. This is ridiculous. I could listen to this on the radio. Mm. And he wanted you to feel it with your ears and your spirit instead of your eyes. Did you just hear what I said? He wanted you to feel it with his ears and his 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 eyes and his spirit. What time of night was it? You know, he was famously a night. Session. It was like a special promotional thing. Uh -huh. You know, it makes me think of you because you've said, sort of running for office, even when you ran, you know, as a, a DA or an attorney general. Yeah. You said, I don't like talking about my 
himself. It, it feels yeah. like I was raised not to be a narcissist. And here you're, you know, the other guy is so only talking about himself. Yeah. But it's weird. It's, it's odd for you to talk about your accomplishments and sort of congratulate yourself. I just... I just sort of congratulate... I always, yeah, you're right. I was raised this way. It's not about you. It's about what you do. And, um, and so it is, it's modest to me to talk about myself, which apparently I'm doing right now. And every other interview. Because you still haven't really created a plan for the economy. But you have to, right? I mean, and a friend of mine actually said, and a friend of mine actually said, "Look, this is not a time to worry about modesty because this is, you know, obviously you got to let people know who you are." Well, we definitely know who you are, don't we, Howard Stern? This extraordinarily aligned. I agree with you. Well, I just saw it actually, and it was funny. I was a huge fan of Maya Rudolph's. I think, but she put a lot of time into the doing the piece and the character. But to your point. But to your point. I literally. I literally. Loosely. Loosely. And have been over. What is at stake in this? Election. I mean, honestly, I end the day, end the day pretty, pretty much every day these days, myself. following up a Saturday, off topic, following up an, a Saturday Night Live skit of Maya Rudolph with telling you how important this up and coming election is as if this is a big fucking joke. She's a laughing stock. And if you are voting for Kamala Harris, you too are also the laughing stock. They literally just gave you a story of Adam Levine. The story he gave when he was on Howard Stern, as if Howard Stern went to a Prince party. What can I do more? What can I do more? The stakes are so high. Your uplift is at risk. You will not be able to be independent, and that is what is at risk. You will not be able to thrive without the government telling you when you buy toilet paper and when you are to wake up in the morning and what career that you will do and whether you're good enough to be an influencer. Show, you did 60 Minutes. By the way, I thought what was so amazing about 60 Minutes is the fact that Trump turned it down. Yeah. Screw 60 Minutes. It just says yeah. so much. He didn't want... It's about the strength versus weakness. And it's weakness versus strength. <laughs> As projected by someone who puts himself in front of, did you not just talk about yourself and modesty while you were talking about yourself? While you were called a narcissist? American people and does not have the strength to stand. And she does not have the strength to stand in defense of their needs. Open borders is the future for and with Kamala Harris, giving all of your money to migrants in the form of $6,000 per child with $25,000 of your tax dollars to migrants as well as health care to migrants while they steal your jobs. Kamala Harris's big plan for the economy while influencers parade around. Fit check. Call her daddy. Who the hell do you think is fueling her campaign? <laughs>